present slave am I. Yet I, a dull and muddy meddled rascal, peak unpregnant of my cause, and can say nothing. No, not for a king upon whose property and most dear life a damned defeat was made. My coward, who calls me villain, plucks out my beard and blows it in my face, who does this to me? Yet I am pigeon livered and lack gall to make oppression bitter, or ere this I should have fatted all the region kites with this slave's awful bloody body villain. Oh, vengeance! Why, what an ass am I? The son of a most dear father murdered must, like a whore, unpack my heart with words and fall a cursing. Fie upon it. Oh, about my brain. I have heard that guilty creatures sitting at a play have by the very cunning of the scene been struck so to the soul that presently they have proclaimed their malefactions for murder, though it have no tongue, speaks with most miraculous organ. I'll, I'll have these players play something like the murder of my father before mine uncle. I'll observe his looks. I'll tent him to the quick. If he but blench, I know my course. The spirit I've seen may be the devil, and the devil hath power to assume a pleasing shape. Yea, and perhaps out of my weakness and my melancholy, abuses me to damn me. I'll have grounds more relative than this. The play's the thing wherein I'll catch the conscience of the king. 